there's not a lot of progesterone only contraceptives so i didn't go into much detail on them okay um, i just wanted to give you the most relevant most often used drugs to make this video as short as possible and to give you some information okay but while we are at progesterone let's just quickly touch on it when are you going to take a progesterone only pill or they call it a mini pill you're gonna take that when you are breastfeeding or when you are postpartum and also when you or have you had surgery so i said you must stop before and after surgery so that's when you want to take your progesterone only pill because it's mainly the estrogen that's having an effect on the blood um, issues okay or when you're older than 35 years and you're smoking like we said things that we don't want you to be times when we don't want you to be on estrogen you take progesterone um, the disadvantage of this is less effective. Um, if it's taking two hours late, it's a problem, it's a risk. And also it can cause abnormal bleeding. So you can get amenorrhea or irregular bleeding or heavy bleeding. Yeah, so that's not a very nice side effect to have. And then if you take your tablets two hours too late, you're going to have to take additional precaution for at least two days. Okay. There's not like estrogen in seven days, but you only have two hours of progesterone. Super important, you take it at the same time every single day. Now let's quickly look at progesterone injectables. Now, this is like your depot prepare, a very um, popular form in our government settings because it's only a, every once every three months you have to come. It's um, yeah more adherence, less burden on the healthcare system. I don't have to see that patient every single month, but they do have some side effects, and some of the side effects are delayed infertility for if you stop your injectable progesterone contraceptive you can have delayed fertility for up to nine months after you stopped okay and it has influence on your menstrual cycle as i said either heavy bleeding or even either the bleeding goes away or yeah so then when you have a bleeding issue we sometimes treat you with estrogen if you have heavy heavy bleeding we'll give you Premarin, which is just, it's a higher concentration of the estradiol. And when it's light, bleeding will give you maybe something like no date or so. Okay, then emergency contraceptives. Now, we all know it, it's in the pharmacy, it's used often. Things like Norlevo and Escapel are most popular in our terms today. But if you don't have one of those, you can always use an overall tablet or a no date tablet. So overall, you're going to give two tablets BD, then it's, that's all you're going to do. Nordate, you're going to give four tablets BD. Okay. If you don't have Norlevo or Escapal in your pharmacy, you can always give them something like Nordate or overall. All right. You can also, when there is a contraindication or not possible to take the oral form, this I find very interesting, you can even take a copper device that they can insert into the vagina and or in the in the medium area and then that can also be a form of emergency contraceptive and then obviously they will just remove it later on okay i didn't know that i i learned it during my research 